before I couldn't even sleep at night thinking about my, you know, I don't know what will gonna happen to me. And now there's a, like a new life. This patient was um, diagnosed with a very advanced form of kidney cancer. Uh, the cancer had metastasized to his lungs and it was growing up his major blood vessel called the vena cava up towards his heart. So about a third of patients with kidney cancer present in this advanced way. And the procedure called the angiovac procedure allowed through small skin punctures into the vessels, essentially all the tumor in the vessel was able to be sucked out. So all the patient had left was just the kidney tumor and a little bit of tumor in the renal vein. The angiovac device uses large suction catheters that are attached to a cardiopulmonary bypass unit to filter out tumors and clots and other material from the bloodstream and deliver the blood back to the patient. For this procedure, uh, we required several large access sites to the patient's uh, circulation. The primary one is in the patient's neck, at the base of the neck right here there was a large suction cannula that was placed all the way down to the main vein in the abdomen. The blood then circulates out of this cannula and filters through a cardiopulmonary bypass machine and sends through a filter where it traps the debris, clot, and tumor. And then we have another access site in the patient's groin where we return all that blood. Although this technology has been adapted for many uses, this is the first case where anyone has successfully removed the entire tumor from the inferior vena cava and also it's the first case where we have actually facilitated a nephrectomy or removing the kidney in a patient. He then went, uh, was able to undergo a minimally invasive robotic nephrectomy which we do here all the time and it was a very simplified procedure with no reconstruction of the major vessels. It allowed quick extraction of the tumor that then allowed the tumor to be processed into a vaccine and he could enter the clinical trial that we have here. So that whole process, start to finish, of simplifying a nephrectomy through this new procedure, the robotic nephrectomy, entering a clinical trial, this has never been done before. So we're very excited about this.